girls, welcome back to another planty video. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Yesenia. So today I'm going to be talking about my wish list plans for 2022. I have quite a list. It's not that big because I want to be kind of realistic. So before we talk about my wish list plans, I did kind of want to talk about the collection that I have right now because lately I haven't been feeling happy with my collection. I feel like I have such a basic collection of plans. I know I shouldn't say that because I still love my plans, but I do feel like I think maybe because when I started, I didn't know nothing about plants. I was just kind of buying like the common plants that I knew that probably I wouldn't kill because they're that easy to take care of, like potos, CZ plants, snake plants. I have a lot of trailing plants. You guys can't really see because they're a little bit more higher. But yeah, I've been just looking around my collection and I'm just like, I don't know. There, there's just something missing. I feel like now... I've been collecting plants for a couple of years. I really got into it maybe like almost two years ago. And I have learned a lot. So now I really want to start trying to buy a little bit more hard plants to take care of. Just to see also if I'm a good plant parent and if I could keep them alive. Yeah, so my wish list plants that I have are... Some are still common, but other ones are, I consider, a little bit more hard, like a step higher. So I'm going to be posting here the pictures of the plants that I am going to be talking about. I might say the names wrong, but I will also put them here for you guys because I'm just bad at pronouncing plant names. So the first plant that I want to talk about, this is like on my top list. This one is the one that I want to get like right away and it's in the locacia dragon scale and it's funny because when i hear that name dragon scale i want to call her dragon tail if you guys grew up with those cartoons dragon tail let me know in the comments down below because you guys are probably around my age <laughs> but yeah i really want to get this plant it's just so pretty like i just really love the leaves i love the detail it really does look like the back of a dragon i don't know but i just love like the veins that it has um the like just the whole detail on the leaf is just so interesting to me and it's so pretty and i have heard a lot of people say they are kind of hard to take care of um they do require a lot of humidity um a lot of light i don't know if it's gonna survive in my home just because i don't have unfortunately i don't have south facing windows which sucks i really wish i did but i am gonna give it a try i really want to the other thing i'm worried about is spider mites a lot of people say they're in a location are prone to spider mites so i'm worried about that so yeah so i really want to get that one now the other plan that i want to get and these are not going on based of the purchases i'm gonna make it's just like they're just random the list so but the second plan that i have on my list is a uh, another location which is a black velvet and this one is also so pretty like the leaves they are they just look so soft i mean it is velvet leaves so and also like i said it's just the shape of the leaves just the veins that it has this plant to me looks so like classy and like i don't know <laughs> it just I, I just like it it just looks so pretty and I really want to try it with these alocasia plants because I really want to see if I'm a good plant parent and I want to keep them alive because that will make me feel so proud if I could keep them alive and they could grow it and that will make me want to buy even more rare plants. So I also want to kind of get into Hoyas. I do have two. I have a Crimson Queen Hoya and then the other one is a... Uh, I forgot the name of it, but I'll put it somewhere right here. My two ways that I have, I don't necessarily think they're struggling, but I also don't think they're thriving. One of them is my Crimson Queen just seems to just be stuck for the past year and a half. Maybe it's less that I've been having it. I don't remember. But it just seems like there's no really growth. There's no really anything going on. Like it's not dying, but it's not growing. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So that's another thing why I want to really kind of get more into Hoyas or learn more about Hoyas because I want mine to thrive and I want to buy more. So one of uh, the Hoyas that I want to add, which this is a hard name for me to pronounce. I think it's the Hoya Macrophilia. Macrophilia. I don't know if I'll put the name here. 
And once again, the reason why I think I like this leaf because it kind of reminds me of the dragon scale. Um, it's just like, it looks like a dragon scale also leaf, like, you know, like, a, like I don't know, the skin of a dragon or even like a crocodile, I think. I, I don't know, I just like, I think I like the design of, of leaves. <laughs> because I noticed that when I'm looking for new plants, I've been really attracted to that kind of little design. Um, so yeah, I like how, I don't even know how to describe the leaves. But that's why I'm showing you guys pictures, but I really like that design. And it also, I like how it has yellow around the leaves. And it just looks so cool. And I really want one. The other day I was going to buy it. And I found one on Etsy and when I was gonna buy it, unfortunately it sold out and I was like, damn it. And it looked like a good size. It was just like, I want to start with the small one just to see, you know, if it grows on my hair. But, but I am going to get it soon, hopefully. <laughs> also, sorry for my lighting if it's getting dark because it is getting dark outside. But I really wanted to film this video and lately I don't like using grow lights anymore. Grow lights. <laughs> see, I'm thinking of my plants. Um, I don't like using my ring light. I don't like using that anymore because I like more the natural lighting. So it is going to be getting a little bit dark. So I'm just going to try to go faster because I could tell the sun is going down. Okay, so the next plant I want to talk about is called, I think this is how you say it. Sisus Discolor. Sisus Discolor. Damn, I'm so bad at pronouncing names. Seriously, like I need to learn. I need a class of how to not pronounce these names. But this plant is so pretty it, it like oh my god the colors of it i like the purple the green on it and it has some type of silver and i think some people were saying this call is kind of like an angel wing it reminds them of an angel wing i i feel like i heard that somewhere in a video that i was watching i don't remember but i just think it looks so so pretty and i would really want to have it so it could start trailing i really i even have the spot where i want it so hopefully I could find one a uh, good size that it could trail fast. But I, I really, really like how it looks. Um, from what I have read and watched videos, they say that the leaves are kind of thin. So they are kind of hard to take care of. Um, but like I said, I want to try. I want to see if I could do it. It's so moving on. Um, this one, I guess you could say is kind of basic, but at the same time, it's not because I haven't been able to find one in my nursery. I think I am going to have to order this one, which is a philodendron mykins. Um, I hope that's how you say it. Again, this is another trailing plant. I really like the leaves. feel like this one is also more like the velvet leaf kind. It just looks really soft. I like the green of it. I like that it's more like a darker green, and it also, I believe it has some type of like burgundy color or reddish color um i have like i said i haven't seen it in the store i only have seen it in pictures or in videos but i really really want it and i can't find it in my nursery so hopefully i could find it online and just buy one i've seen them on etsy but they're so expensive <laughs> but eventually i might give in and just get it because it's so pretty and i really want it on this shelf right here that i have i just think it will look so cute trailing right here imagine just imagine look so pretty so we're moving on to like a bigger plants I feel like I have a lot of small plants and I also want to have bigger plants because I just want to fill the space at my home like I have mentioned in other videos I really want when you come to my home you think like it's a jungle it's like a little mini jungle and that's what I want to feel and I've been doing okay with filling the space that's another thing that I did because as a beginner it's like i started with a lot of small plants because i wasn't sure if i was going to kill them and now that i have learned more knowledge i really want bigger plants because i just think i could take care of them and i feel like they will survive so this one is called a philodendron saloon now this one i mean there's not much that i could say you guys could just see this the leaves i really like the shape of the leaves i just think it's so pretty is also is a little bit different than from like a regular leaf plant um but I, I think i mainly what i like is just it reminds me like of a jungle like something that you will see like in a jungle and they're so huge and they could grow really really big and i think that's what i really want one because they just look huge and the leaves are big and yeah i really really want one 
The next one that I'm going to talk about, um, I really want a bird of paradise. I've been, I've been saying that for the longest. I think that was like the first plant I wanted to buy when I started getting into plants. And I haven't been able to find one that I like. I find like little ones and they're like 40 bucks and I just feel like that is so expensive for a really small one. Like maybe like this size. So I don't want to spend that much money on such a small plant. Some people have told me to go to Costco and they have them huge. Um, but I don't have a Costco car. <laughs> and, I, and I did ask someone that I knew that had a Costco car. And when they went, they didn't have them anymore. So I was like, damn it. Um, but I really want to find like a good size, a medium size. Like I know I'm not going to be able to find a really tall one that is not that expensive because they are really expensive. But I want to at least find like a medium size that I know eventually it is going to grow tall. And like I said, that is not the pricey. I really want that one. Like the Bird Paradise is a plant that I've been wanting for years. And I've been putting it off, putting it off. And I really want to get the plant this year. I'm like have to get the plant because I know I really want it especially because I have a spot by my couch that is like it has a plant right now but I feel like a bird paradise will look so much prettier there so yeah okay so the last plant I'm going to talk about this one is like this one you could say I really really wish I could buy this plant because one is super pricey and two it's a rare plant that I don't know if I'm there yet <laughs> like I don't know if I'm capable of taking care of it I have no idea but if it comes to a point that I have the money and that I would just be like F it I'm just gonna buy it I might just get it because it's so pretty every time I see it on Instagram I'm like I want it now this one is also hard for me to pronounce I, I, I am not even gonna try to say this name because I can't pronounce that. You should already know. English is my second language. Okay, so these plants names are hard. Uh, I'll just put the name here, but just look at this plant. It is so, so pretty. I love the shape of this plant. I love how they look like hearts. I love the veins that it has. I love the color. There's just nothing that I could say bad about this plant. I love everything everything about this plant it is so so pretty and every time i see it because i'm now i follow a lot of people that are plant moms or plant parents and every time i see on instagram like i want it um there's actually a new local nursery that they just opened up i think last year i haven't been able to go to it because i just found it this year but i want to go and they have one but they're like 150 for like a little baby one like this small and I just don't see myself buying a $100, 50 plant that I'm probably going to kill. So that's why I haven't been <laughs> thinking too much of like, okay, I am going to buy it. I would want to find like, yes, this size is fine. But like, can it be like at least half of the price, you know, for me to be like considerate of like, maybe I'll buy it. If I find it at the right price one day, I'll probably might get it. But I am really scared because these are also really hard to take care of. Like I said, this is like a really rare plant and I don't know. I don't know if, if she'll be happy here in my home, um, but I really, really want it. So hopefully I could get it one day in the future. <laughs> but yeah, guys, those are all the plants that I want to get for this year. Now. I might get different other kind of plants later on because you know if I go to nursery and I see other plants that I like I might buy them too but these are the ones that I kind of have an eye on that I'm like okay those are the ones that I kind of want to buy right now like the main ones that I kind of want to get right now and want to have in my collection except that rare plant that I showed you guys the last one that one is good I have to wait for that one <laughs> but I hope you guys like this video let me know in the comments down below which plant was your favorite if you guys have any of these plants let me know so that way when I get them give me tips let me know how to take care of them because I'm gonna need tips um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye my loves.